All right, so as you can hear, I got something going here. That's my ground beef because today we are making crock pot enchiladas. So I got my ground beef grounding up. I got some enchilada sauce, two cans, one can of diced green chili, some extra virgin olive oil. Actually, I don't need the olive oil. I got some green onions. I got some green pepper. I got some black olives, one jar of salsa and two bags of cheese and some flour tortillas. And of course, ta-da, the crock pot. So over here where my meat's browning, I'm gonna add these bell peppers. So my meat is browning up and I'm just gonna season that with a little salt and pepper. All right, so I have browned and drained my beef here and I'm gonna add one can of enchilada sauce. I'm gonna add my one can of green chilies. Let me stir that in. Yummy, yummy to my tummy. And I'm gonna add one packet of taco seasoning. All right, guys, I'm trying to do this one-handed here. Some people like to add beans. I am not adding beans. I'm leaving it soupy just like this. Then I'm gonna add half a jar of salsa. That's about half a jar. I like the thick and chunky one. All right. All right, guys. So now that my meat is done, I'm ready to do my layering. So my crock pot. So first, I'm going to take some flour tortilla, and I'm going to put it down on the bottom like that. Then I'm going to take my meat sauce. And I'm gonna put two scoops or two ladles or I don't know, one cup and a half, whatever you guys wanna guess to make that at, maybe two cups. Then I'm gonna take some of my cheese and I'm gonna sprinkle some cheese in there. I'm gonna put a little bit of green onion and a little bit of black olive. And then I'm gonna repeat the process. Tortilla, meat sauce, all the way until my crock pot is full or until I run out of ingredients, whichever comes first. Put more meat on that one. Add the cheese. And I got both the triple and the extra cheddar, so use your preference. I'm gonna kind of mix it up as I go. This is my plan anyways. Next layer of tortillas. Tortillas, tortillas. I love tortillas, especially the flour ones. sharp cheddar cheese on this layer you can do it however you like whatever your favorite cheeses are I suggest that's what you use put a little green onion a little green onion that's a lot of green onion <laughs> little black olive and then do another layer and just keep going all the way to the top or until you run out of ingredients. Should be able to get one more, two more layers in here. Some cheese. I think I put so much green onions on that last layer, I'm not gonna even add any here. They're gonna be green onioned out. 
So I'm gonna go to another layer of this. Last but not least. And if you feel like you want a little extra sauce, I have, that's why I have the second um, the second can of sauce, depending on how saucy you want yours. I'm pop it with the cheese here last. The rest of my cheese. The rest of my olives. The rest of my onions. Well, not that many. I got a lot of green onions here going, so. All right, so then I'm gonna cover this I'm gonna cook it on low for about three to four hours and it will be bubbly and ready to serve. It is gonna be bubbly. I got it cooking, it's not ready yet. It smells amazing. So I'm gonna put my cover and then I'm gonna turn it on. Let's see what we have here. Ooh, it's bubbling and it smells amazing. Ooh. Yum. I'm ready to dig in.